Santa had to travel to an exotic land. Super controversial in the fish keeping hobby. What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. And as always, a very special thank you to all of my members tuning in. Now in today's video, we are talking about, well, it's the newest fish to my fish keeping hobby. It's a fish that I haven't, uh, I don't have much experience with, but this fish is weird. It's definitely an enigma. Uh, it's super controversial in the fish keeping hobby and uh, we're gonna feed it something that I've never fed to any of my fish ever before. So excited to bring you along, show you how that goes. But we gotta start by me talking about a little bit of a problem well, not so. I don't want to say a problem. It's it's a trend that I've noticed with my hobby. You see, I post a lot of videos here on YouTube, and I post a lot of things over on Instagram. And people take one look and they see that I have some big tanks, and they're like, "Oh my God, would you look at his tank? It is so big." And I gotta be honest, I do like big tanks, and I cannot lie. I don't think anybody out there can deny that I do have some pretty good sized setups and uh, some options for keeping, you know big fish well people see these tanks they reach out to me because they have a fish that's too big for their current home and they say hey can you take it i say absolutely and that's exactly how i ended up with that guy over there hey i was pointing to him this guy right here is my red belly paku he is all of 16 17 inches and i've had him probably for about a month now his story is he broke the tank of his previous owner he broke the tank that he was in they took him to the local fish store they called me and said hey we can't house him he's too big i brought him home and he is now temporarily in this 180 gallon until we can get uh, a bigger more permanent home set up for him but uh yeah he is super cool and loves the camera so Paku are actually very closely related to piranhas. In fact, when they're young, they look exactly like piranhas and they are super prevalent in the fish keeping hobby, which makes them very cheap, which is part of what makes them so controversial because they get so big. Unlike the piranha, however, Paku have a very different diet for one, but they have the most unique teeth of any freshwater fish that I know of. Look at these things. So I was down here trying to get some pictures or video of this guy to post on my Instagram the other day and uh, I happened to notice that uh, his teeth don't look like that. They look closer to a piranhas. And so I was actually really confused because uh, like I said, you know, I haven't had this fish for long and I expected him to have those uh, human like, you know, teeth things. And so uh, I messaged my buddy Joe who is my expert on all things monster fish and I said, hey man. Don't Paku have weird human-like teeth? To which he responded, they do. So I sent him a picture of this guy and I said, then what is going on? And his answer was honestly not what I expected, but it makes perfect sense. I mean, this is what he said. And so with this thing being close to 17 inches and still having those pointy teeth, what Joe recommended is that I feed it a more natural diet and defeated a natural diet, that meant I had to travel to an exotic land, somewhere I've never been before, to buy some really specific fish food. And that's here at a Whole Foods, because we are buying something very specific and something that uh, Walmart doesn't have, because believe me, I, I checked. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, that felt a little anticlimactic. That was about an hour long trip due to multiple wrong turns, just to buy a little $8 tub of Brazil nuts, which actually don't even come from Brazil. And so that brings us back here to our hungry Paku and our Bolivian Brazilian nuts, which I actually don't think I've ever Well, all right, but so these things are, they're organic, 
the ingredients are literally organic Brazilian nuts, not roasted. I did take uh, some and just kind of rinse them off for this guy uh, just to, you know, get any kind of dust or anything like that off. But uh, yeah, I have no idea if he's going to eat it. I did get some grapes too, so we can just feed him some different stuff. But I don't know. What do you think? Think he's hungry? Last thing I want to do is get bit. Well, dang, that was actually uh, pretty cool to watch. Uh, taking it in right away, I mean, he had no hesitations grabbing it and then just kind of working it around in his mouth until he could break it up. The reason that his teeth are pointy and uh, not those human teeth, which I, I cannot stress enough how creepy that is, is just because he hasn't had those hard nuts and fruits and seeds and stuff like that to really kind of grind those teeth down. So doing things like this will just not only give him a healthier, more enriching, full life, but it's gonna give him, you know, the teeth that Paku are, are more known, known for. Um, I did uh, wanna drop a grape in there and just see how he reacts to the grapes and then maybe we'll put another nut in and, yeah, this is kind of a fun little experiment. So let's feed him some more stuff. He's still just over there scrounging for the little bits of the grape that are left. So uh, I think it's safe to assume the Paku likes the grapes and the Brazil nuts. I have no frame of reference of how many to give him. So that was two grapes and two Brazil nuts. And I think that's a good start. Um, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of geeking out a little bit. That was cool. I've never fed fruit or any kind of nut to any of my fish before, like I said in the beginning of the video. And for him to just take it and just chow it down and to also know that that is me providing one of the best homes and diets that I can possibly do for the fish. It's just cool. I mean, I'll be able to shake it up and I can use some pellets and some different fruits and stuff like that. And I got probably about $8 worth of the Brazil nuts left still. So he's got plenty to go on for a while. So I mentioned in my last video that I was going to start doing kind of like a question or a comment of the day. The question of the day is, What'd you think of watching that Paku kind of chew that nut around and spit it up and and just kind of keep working it and then peeling the grapes almost? Let me know down below in the comments. What'd you think of uh, watching the Paku eat some nuts? Um, I mean, I thought it was cool, but uh, let me know in the comments and then I'll pick one and I'll kind of share it as like a comment of the day in my next video. Now, before we wrap this one up, I do want to say that I am in the middle of like some crazy renovations for the fish room. Um, I have another big fish coming that needs to go in this pond. It's another kind of rescue fish. It'll be here soon. Um, actually, beginning of next month is, is what I think I've heard. Um, but that means we need to make some more room. We need to get some more ponds. I'm thinking more of these 300 gallon stock tanks, which means we need to move this stuff out. So kind of what I'm thinking is if we go from one fish room, yeah, we'll go this way, into 
the next fish room as I scare all the peacock bass and stuff and it's a mess but uh, I'm thinking we just kind of like rearrange everything down here and get like those 55s and do racks I'll move the TV we'll move that tank and so I got all kinds of stuff coming but um, yeah that's kind of it so thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed it again let me know comments of the day question of the day what do you think of watching the Paku eat some grapes and some nuts and uh, yeah until the next one, remember, this is Zach with SC Fishkeeping reminding you that every fish is a keeper, especially a Paku, until they get too big and then you call me and then I take your Paku. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon.